to another live RAI caregiver moment. My name is Kion Church, aka the Big Hearted Caregiver. What I do is I help family members with distressed loved ones uh, to become paid caregivers through our personal assistance service agency. Now, today's episode is uh, whether it's safe or not to start taking your parents and loved ones back out to these restaurants, you know, to start eating and doing things and just basically getting back into the groove that we used to be into before this whole big COVID-19 thing. So listen, if you stay till the end, I will tell you the best secrets and practices that we use for our seniors and loved ones to help be able to get, uh, you know, around during these times of the COVID. But listen, but first, before we get started, if you would like to personally work with us or with me, just type get started in the comments, you know, and me or somebody from my staff will get back to you as soon as possible, I promise. Now listen, um, this COVID thing is crazy. You know, me and my pop, my pop like 78 years old, 77 years old. Our favorite pastime is going out, getting something to eat, going to the restaurants, you know, maybe getting a drink at the bar, you know what I mean? Something like that. But right now it's kind of sketchy. You really don't know who you're sitting next to. You really don't want to be in a place with a whole bunch of strange people. You you really want to keep your mask on is really what you want to do. Now, I'm going to tell you, it's kind of hard to eat with your mask on. So you're going to have to find out, you know, what works best for you. I don't know. Maybe um, is it takeout? Maybe is it outside dining? Maybe, uh, I don't know. You might even want to eat in the car. I don't want to be sitting next to the COVID. I don't know about you. So let's break it down. They say, is it, start, is it safe to start back going to restaurants? Well, most restaurants and bars are operating on a partial capacity. A partial capacity is basically where they don't let the whole 900 people in to sit down and eat no more. See, the restaurant's job. Check this out. The restaurant, if it wants to be profitable, what they have to do is they have to turn that restaurant over. They got to fill it up a couple times an evening. Now, do you want to be stuck in a COVID environment with a full up restaurant? Well, the state has put in uh, in to measure some procedures so it won't be exactly packed when you get in there. But I'm sure it's going to be some people in there because if not, the restaurant will not survive. Their business only makes money off of people. So you got to pack the people into the room to get the money. So I don't know if you want to be sitting there with that. It's not necessarily for me, but just to let you know your options. So if you're in there, make sure that you're, uh, you, you're using this uh, this space thing we got going on. I forget what they call it, but it's six feet of space between you and the next person. Always try to use your six feet because, you know, that's the, uh, that's the limit. You know, it really should be probably 12, 15 feet. I don't know, but you don't want nobody sneezing on you, coughing on you, breathing on you that got the COVID. So you want to use that six feet. All right. Now, uh, <clears throat> when you walk into the restaurant, if they're a good restaurant, they're going to have some hand sanitizer in the building. Now, that's what you're going to want to use. You want to use a little bit of hand sanitizer if you felt like you have touched anything before you leave. And when you come in, you know, sit down, whatever, you might want to get the stuff on your hands and, and make sure everything's cool. Now, the best thing that I would say to do is if they have outside seating, utilize the outside seating. Nothing better than some fresh air, you know what I mean? Nothing better than being out, you know, you and your loved one, your family members, y'all outside, enjoying a good meal at the nice restaurant that you like to go to. You know what I mean? Just using your uh, your six feet rule. That's always a good thing. So listen, number one tip I want to tell you, this is what I personally use for myself. I don't know if I told y'all the story of how, how it went down for me the other night. Um, I went out to get some takeout. I went to three places. The first place I went into... Didn't have a mask on. I kept it moving. Went to another place. It was a lady at the counter. She didn't have a mask on. I kept it moving. I don't understand these places. They got the sign on the door and they saying no mask. Can't come in without a mask and get no service. Can't come in, eat, do your business, whatever. But they got people in there with no mask on. I get to the third place. I go in there and the, uh, and the guy cooking the food on the grill, he don't have a mask on. I says, oh, man, I'm out. I don't know. I don't know if he's been COVID-19 tested. I don't know. Maybe he clear. I just don't know. They ain't told me. So look, I got to do the best thing for me. I can't take the COVID back home. It ain't working like that. My family's not going to appreciate that too much. So if I go into a place and they don't have a mask on, I'm using a mask and they don't have a mask. I'm definitely out. I'm listen. I'm out of here. I'll talk to you later next year. Look, take care of your friends. Take care of your loved ones. Take care of your seniors. Take care of your parents. Your parents are our best assets. They took care of you. They've been looking out for you since you came out of the sandbox. Listen, don't go home with the COVID, man. Remember to buckle up, wear that mask at all times, man. Wash your hands. Don't be around no nasty people, man. We definitely avoid nasty people right now. 2020, we not even hanging with them. So listen, 
Put your best foot forward. If you need anything, call me 302-689-3240, 302-689-3240. Listen, give me a chance to earn your business. We'll watch over your family members just like they're ours because we care that much. I love you. Talk to you soon. Reliable 8 Inc. And I'm out. <laughs>